Hey guys, I'm back, and today in this tutorial, where I left you off last time from the last one, is we started a map and called it the main menu map. If you guys are just tuning in now, make sure you have your map created. It's going to be an empty level, and it's going to basically, you can either have it black, like completely nothing, or you can have, like today, I'm going to do a live view uh, a live view uh, menu. Um, so what you want to do is I already have the UI created because I'm working on you know like my options menu that's going to be a tutorial on its own because that is a pain in the ass to do. Um, you can follow along it's in the Unreal Engine documents um, but basically what happens is you can change your video setting quality so uh, when uh, yeah anyway I'll, I'll explain more in that tutorial um, so today we are gonna do the main menu and uh, it's just gonna be plain and simple and just basic logic uh, I'm not gonna put the options button functionality into this video um, but we will we will uh, get this going here <coughs> so if you haven't yet, create a UI um, folder in your content browser. Um, since I already have one, and this one's going to be, or mine's going to be different than the one that you guys are going to be working on here, I'm going to start from scratch just as you were. So I'm going to go to new folder, and I'm going to name this T underscore UI for tutorial uh, UI. Um, so I'm going to go into the UI folder, I'm going to create user interface widget. I'm going to call this the main menu widget. So I'm going to open this up, and what we're going to do here is go to, uh, we're going to add a vertical box. Actually, you know what, I'm going to make the buttons across the top here. So I'm going to do a horizontal box. Okay. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to go to anchors, and I want it across the top completely, and I'm going to reset all these values. So we're going to do, let's, yeah, let's do 100. Uh, offset on the left will be 102, and we are going to make it, let's say, 50 units. Okay, so we'll zoom in here, have a look. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, but we want to bring it down. Let's see here. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna match it. I'm gonna offset 100 off there. Actually, no. I'm gonna go 20, just so they're not glued right to the border of your screen. Um, so now what we're gonna do here is because everybody's running 4K and and everything, I'm just gonna keep it on 1080p and. That's generally what most people run, I guess. You want to keep the quality uh, scalable, really. Uh, so anyway, we're going to we're gonna need three buttons. One, two, three. Okay. And I drop those all in the horizontal box. And it was, uh, we're going to go fill. So we're going to fill it in this way, and we're going to take the padding, we're going to go left, 50, and right, 50. Those are going to be generally some big buttons. So you can play with these to make them smaller, but I want them to slap in the end user's face so they can actually see them, so they can't be like, well, use the button to play the game. That's right here, buddy. Okay, so now we're going to add some text. The common uh, text. I'm going to add that button, that button, and this button. Oh, while I have these buttons highlighted, I am going to change the style to uh, say normal, image, tint. I'm going to make these green. Completely green. 
Actually, you know what? This one, I'm, I'm going to do blue. And I'm going to make them a li little bit transparent. And I'm going to draw it as image. So it makes the sides. I like this image because it makes the sides um, do a gradient. Um, and then, like, you can get into different details, but basically you just go through. So, like, if it's if it's hovered, like, if your cursor's over it, it's going to be one color. If it's pressed, it's going to be another color. But that's more like if you're doing HTML. You know, like, if you go to a website, you click the link, and then you come back to the same website, it changes the text purple if you've already been on it. That's what this press does. I really don't do anything with that, because when you come back to the game, you don't want the game to look well used, I guess, so to speak. Um, so we're going to compile that, we're going to take this text, and we're going to make this play. Uh, can't type today, play. This one is going to be options. And this one is going to be quit. Okay. So now we'll actually we'll add some functionality to this to the quit button as it's super easy. So we're gonna click on clicked and it's gonna on button two. Uh, we're gonna go quit game. And controller. File save. Now we're going to exit that. Now, what we're going to do for the live view is uh, we're going to take our visual or our cinematics. We're going to put a cinematic camera in here. We're going to lock this view. Okay? You don't want that going anywhere. So now we're going to take our character blueprint. I'm going to drop him into the level here. And we're going to rotate it pretty much all the way around because you want you want him close to the edge. Uh, the camera's not going to be looking way out here so you don't really got to worry about um, what's over here. You want most of the landscape over here. So now we're going to take this camera and we're going to move it around. And just watch where you're going, what you're doing in here, um, so you can get a general idea of what your main menu or your live menu is going to be. Um, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put them in the middle this round. I'm going to rotate it down, and I am just going to take a basic, you know what, just geometry here, just so there's something to look at go like this, I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to make it 1,000 by 1,000 by 1,000, and I'm going to move that, over here, and I'm going to make it, that should be okay, okay? So that's basically what the background's gonna look like. You can do like spend some time, make it look good. I have um, I have a few assets I've made to drop in here to help with the way everything looks. Um, so now, like if you hit play, it's just you know it's not gonna do anything really. Um, Where's our menus and how do we get them there and why can I control my guy? So in this one, what you want to do, because you don't really want, like, throughout this series, there's going to be so many functions and everything going on in the character's blueprint. So in this one, on the level, because this is going to be the level that's, that starts your game, you want the blueprint to run uh, everything that has to do with the main menu. So go to the main menu level blueprint, and we are going to get this uh, camera to show what we want to see and create the functionality. 
So I'm going to go to, we're going to get to the player controller. sure that camera is highlighted. Okay, so now we're going to go player controller. Get player controller. We're going to go to create widget. And now we're going to do the menu. Uh, main menu widget. Okay. Then we're going to go to add viewport. Add to viewport. And we're going to click this, and we're going to go UI only. Set input to mode to UI only. And then we're going to take target, and we're going to go back to the controller. And come back here, and we're going to show mouse cursor. Show, set show mouse cursor. Lock that into place, and go here. Now just to show you what this does, we're going to play. So, now we got the menu, but we're not this guy, and we're not facing it with this nice background in the background. So what we need to do is we're going to take that camera actor. Remember, you got to click that camera, so when you right-click, this is going to show up. Okay. So now we're going to get controlled pawn. You're going to do a cast for your player, or your player character. Mine is the player character. I, just, I call them player character. Yours will either be third person character or whatever. Now we're going to get camera. Now we're going to get the camera. Get camera. Get camera. Uh, you want the variable. Get player camera. Deactivate. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is we're going to go to add a cinematic camera. Okay. And we're going to keep relative, manual attachment, all that stuff. And then we're going to activate it. Now, we want to, since that camera is activated, we want to detach it. Okay. We're going to keep world, keep world, keep world. And then we're going to set world location and rotation. teleport pile. Now if we hit play, it's still not doing nothing. So we have something backwards here. Um, I think these need flipped around is what's going on. Let's try this one. Or get rid of that. Nope. Still not working. I realized what we did wrong here. We didn't attach anything to this cast. So we're going to go to this cast now. Now we have play. Our camera is way out of town. It's at zero, 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 so there's nothing to see. Alrighty, so we're on the right track. Activate, and I got rid of that uh, detach. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to detach it anyway. Detach from component. Okay. 
um, keep the set world location and rotation. Now we're going to come back all the way to this uh, camera after that's in the level that we created a reference to. And get world location and rotation. Get world, and you don't want scene, you want camera. Okay? And now we want the rotation. Get world location and the rotation. Location and get world. Get world rotation. There we go. So we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and we're going to compile, and we're going to play. Alright, so now we got our live background. Okay. See, it wasn't that difficult. It actually is a pain in the ass, not going to lie. Um, the boom. Anyway. And it was. But, since this is going to be an online MMO, um, we all know that uh, this dude sitting out here isn't your dude. Your dude is wherever he spawns. So I'm going to hit play, and now he's going to draw it back in the background. So this is actually your dude. This dude's not your dude. Um, so we're going to go quit, right? Now what we're going to do is we are going to add a player start. Or the basic uh, player start. Now, if you look, there is an arrow in here. Ah, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this. And you want it to be damn near the same thing as the arrow on here. Okay. Now we're going to move it to the exact spot he's at. And like if you wanted to, it's a little bit more finicky, I guess you could say. Um, you could basically get the world coordinates off off of the details panel over here and punch them in, copy and paste them. But you gotta flip back and forth. So now that we got that there, we can take the character or the yeah the character here, and we can delete them. Now this is bad size it says, but we'll uh, we'll work with it. It's just because it's collision, uh, it's colliding with the, the character we had in there. So just leave it and it'll reset itself. Um, so now we're going to save and we're going to hit play. Ta-da! Now we have our live view. So what I'm going to do is uh, introduce you to a little tool I built. And first I'm going to get rid of this. So now it's pitch black, right? So now I'm going to go to uh, my blueprints here. And I got my explosion spawner. And this thing is awesome. Awesome. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to drop my extents down. And I'm going to do a 5 seconds. I'm going to do 0.75 seconds, and if you guys want this tool, I'm looking for donations to help me get a new graphics card. Um, so uh, basically anybody that makes a donation, I'm going to say $5 or more, or let's say a dollar, I'm not going to be greedy, let's say a dollar. Um, the donation link is going to be in the description here to my GoFundMe page. Um, if you make the donation, I will email you guys this asset. And it's a cool asset. If you appreciate the videos, if they help you help me back, um, even just out of the kindness of your heart right now, um, help me bring higher quality materials to you guys. And I will actually um, throw download links to... Uh, some of the assets that I create that I am willing to give you guys. This explosion one, everything is in out of the everything is out of the starter content. So basically you just put this actor in the world and this is what you get. As you can 
see the lights all, they'll start eventually disappearing and whatnot. Um, you can actually turn the sound off too. Uh, I don't want it to play sounds. And I'm going to do, let's do 0 0.25. 0 0.25 and max explosions. Let's say this max explosions, or max lights, sorry, is uh, how many lights are going to be constant at one at one given time. So let's say 20. And I'm going to turn this down to 0. So when I play it, shit starts happening right away. And I think it's it's a cool way to introduce your character to your menu. Um, anyway, so that is the basics for the main menu. Uh, we got our we got our uh, quit button working. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the main menu widget, and uh, we're gonna get the functionality for our play button. Now later on. We're just going to make this uh, work uh, for now. It's not going to be completely online, like find the server, connect to the server, and everything. Because um, I bet you this video is getting long enough. Um, not only that, but that's something we have to come back to uh, later on in the series. Because the main menu it's a completely local thing there's no connections to anything going on here um, we could also get uh, the level of the characters and everything but that's gonna be in my advanced UI's tutorials I'm gonna make a whole series on just UI related topics here I'm actually really good at creating UI's um, but this one's just to get you guys started, get you the basics. Here's your play button, here's some options, and quit the game. Okay, so I'm going to close this, or actually, yeah, I'm going to close this for now. Um, so go back to your uh, maps here. If you have a main menu map, uh, you probably have another, your main level. So we're going to go to main level. Okay, so we're going to save this, main level, save, and I'm going to create a vast open world, blah, open world, fill world, create modes, um, lights, Cameras, action, directional light. We're gonna make this movable so everything's dynamic. Um, because trust me, if you're making baked lighting, you're probably gonna want a day-night system anyway. And baked lighting is heavy on a day-night system. So uh, yeah. Now we're gonna go back to we're gonna save this, and just because. Level. Come on. See, this is what I mean, guys. I need to totally update my system here, and I need help. Uh. Alright, so that actually was a royal pain in the ass. That actually took probably about five minutes to save. Um. Anyway, and, it, and, and it's, you know, nothing. It's not a, not a level at all, but we're going to go to basics, we're going to go create player start, and just because I want to show you, we're going to go geometry, box, we're just going to add a box there for this guy to look at, and we are going to go back to the main menu, save this, and we're back to the main menu. So now what you want to do is go to your main menu widget, we're going to click on the play button and create functionality for that for the time being. On clicked, we're going to go to open level, but before that we should get rid of this UI, okay? So we're going to go to controller. Player controller. Player controller. And we're gonna 
get rid of the UI and we're going to put the mouse back into the game. So we're going to go to uh, game only. Okay. And we're going to get a reference to setup. And we're going to remove it. Okay. And we're going to show the cursor. Set show cursor to negative. Okay. And then we're going to open the level. And I named it. This has to be spelt exactly. So it's main level, I think is what I wrote it as. Let's go to maps. Yeah, main level. And it's case sensitive even. Okay, compile, save, play. So we're here. We're going to click this. And my computer's going to freeze a little bit. Ah, and now we're in the game. Alright guys, so that is the most basic main menu you can get. Um, I'm going to create a tutorial series so you can get like character level. Um, actually, you know what, I'll include that uh, in a later video. Uh, so the next thing here is I created a game mechanics um, folder. God, I'm at a loss for it. You want to create a save game. So that is blueprints. Create a new blueprint, and you just go to here. Oops. Save. Right there. Game save. Um, I made a game mode, and I made a game state. You want to do all three of those because it's going to be heavy into this. Alright? And basically in your game saves, uh, you're going to want your character attributes. And I'll get into this in my options video, but that's what you're going to want. So this video has been half an hour, <laughs> and I'm sorry for taking up your time. But like I said, if you like the video, throw the likes down. Um, if you're having any issues or uh, you want help with anything, uh, throw a comment down. Um, help me help you. Throw a, din a donation at my GoFundMe page. I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, in the next video, we are going to get into the... You know what? next video I'm gonna do adding adding the levels and everything to your to your UI I gonna get your get your character information basically okay so yeah thanks guys and uh, like I said if you guys want that explosion thing throw a donation of a dollar or more and you guys will get an email from me and I will shoot you that asset appreciate it later guys